हेलो एवरीवन यू आर आर वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 1092 एंड टुडेस टॉपिक इज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस बेस्ड क्लाउड सीडिंग टेक्नोलॉजी एंड नाउ विद दिस न्यू इमर्जिंग टेक्नोलॉजी वी हैव स्टार्टेड यूजिंग रोबोट्स विद आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस कनेक्टिविटी and we have noticed that there is lot of global warming climate change weather pattern is change and this is high time uh, to check antarctic temperature is rising and it is alarming somewhere there is flood somewhere there is a drought so all this uh, very much unpredictable desertification rainfall uh, drought is uh, forcing us to control our climate so to control our climate to our wish to our liking when to have rain and where to have rain and how much rain we need and when to stop so for that reason first thing is that we have to understand cloud what is cloud and the formation of cloud and if i say cloud there is chemistry of cloud and there is no much complex chemistry very simple chemistry of water that is your water h2o and h2o is your cloud in the form of small uh, droplets now the question is what are the states of water so we know that first state of water is liquid then second is solid and third is gaseous state so we can see water in three states of matter solid liquid and gas so water is liquid at room temperature 20 25 30 40 50 degree centigrade and if temperature is increasing the water will start changing into gaseous form that is called vapor and completely water will change into gaseous form when temperature goes up to 100 degree centigrade we call it boiling point of water is a very simple chemistry and if the temperature is going very very low it is coming up to 0 uh, degree centigrade temperature the same liquid water will be changed into solid and that is called ice ice crystal formation will be there and the same water vapor if they are hanging in atmosphere in air we call it humidity we call it humidity and we may call it 90% humidity 85% humidity means lot of water vapors are hanging in the atmosphere or weather in the air and the same water vapor if it is flowing and going higher and higher then they are changing into droplets and those droplets when they combine together millions and billions of droplets there will be large size of droplets and that large size of droplets is called cloud and each uh, droplet is having uh, the size is 1 over 100 100 mm 1 over 100 the so small size 
and the same water vapor same water vapor if it is falling on some surface then it is condensed into droplets if on any surface if water is falling and what will happen there will be condensation so what will take place condensation condensation is the main uh, scientific procedure of formation of cloud all these vapors by high temperature from sea level or from any source of water from uh, earth surface it is evaporated evaporation means changing liquid into gaseous form that gaseous form is called vapor and it is going higher and higher and there are two type of cloud formation one is called droplet cloud one is called and second one is called that is ice ice crystal cloud and these uh, droplets when it, they are going uh, to upper side so once it goes to uh, more than 30000 40000 uh, meter height it is going to face very very low temperature and that low temperature will allow this gaseous form vapor form slowly to condense and condensation will take place condensation is not possible unless there is platform remember it even if your temperature is minus 10 20 it will not be condensed unless there is platform and you might have noticed that when you are taking bath in your bathroom in shower if there is big glass in bathroom uh, you might have seen that there is lot of condensation of water vapor so because glass is a big surface so you can notice it so in the atmosphere also well, after gaining lot of height when there is cooling effect of temperature then dust particles pollen grain and some other matters in a crystalline form they provide as a platform and there the small droplets they will combine and becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and once the size is so big and weight is so heavy then it we cannot sustain to remain as a cloud and then falling starts and that falling if it is coming to our earth surface and in the air if there is cold air where the surface is there then the same uh condense water will be changed into snow ice solid form so that way there will be snow fall and if the air is not very cold is hot then it will be normal rain and you might have noticed that you can see that thick cloud dark and uh, brown are floating that very easily you can see that is on low altitude and that is actually water droplet clouds and if the cloud is frozen in the form of ice crystal it is at a very uh, uh, we can say far away from uh, this water droplet clouds and now i am coming to this point that how this seedling uh of cloud started actually it is by accident one scientist he was working in 1943 in his lab with uh, that is called dry ice dry ice means at minus 78 degree centigrade carbon dioxide is in the form of solid and that solid carbon dioxide is called dry ice so it was winter season and when his breath was coming out of his mouth 
he noticed some smoky or cloudy type of uh, air is coming from his mouth. In, we can notice even in December, if it is very cold, when we are uh, taking out our uh, breath, one is taking in, another one is out. You will see that some smoky type of air is coming from mouth. That is nothing but I call it mini cloud. It is called It is called mini cloud from your mouth. So he he thought that if this from our mouth, that smoky type of cloudy uh, look is coming. So why not to uh, just uh, pump to that minus 78 degree centigrade temperature that was uh, carbon dioxide, uh, ice, dry ice dry ice is carbon dioxide so he pumped the uh, that mouth breath into that with that temperature and it was converted into ice and water so immediately he thought that the same technology uh, cloud seedling we are using in the space where cloud formation is there, then we can have, whenever we like, we can have heavy water, we can have heavy snowfall. And he, I have gone through this his paper, what he did in uh, 49 or 50, he took one aeroplane filled with uh, dry ice, that is carbon dioxide, and he went to space and he spread all the dry ice in the atmosphere and he found that there was heavy rain and snowfall just after uh, some few minutes time it was so quickly it was condensed so it was a big discovery by that uh, American uh, cloud seedling technology and he is the father of uh, cloud seedling technology I will mention his name after that after that, they found that this type of seedling uh, cloud is costly because getting dry eyes, then packing in aeroplane, and then going in space, lot of expenses were involved. So they thought, why not to shoot up from the earth with the help of rocket? So it should go in the space and it can spread. But even that one was little bit costly so one another scientist came and he thought the process of condensation that let, let some platform be provided in the space atmosphere where all these vapors at a low temperature should be immediately condensed because this dust particle pouring iron and some other matters they are not providing a proper platform for condensation. So he selected silver iodide, AGI. That is silver, silver iodide as a platform in the space atmosphere. And this silver iodide, what it was there, this silver iodide is a platform, and here a lot of droplets. We have come and then again the platform silver iodide, lot of water droplet, and in that case it became big area was covered with the same silver iodide and it formed the cloud. And that cloud was immediately I started falling in the form of water rain, rainfall. And once it was cold, then they got lot of snowfall. And after that, it was in 1950s, the king of uh, Thailand, he used this technology in Thailand because there was always irregular rain and because Thailand is the uh, main producer of rice even today, Thailand and Indonesia, also India is also there, but Thailand is on top. 
I, they were successfully using this technology they are using so that wherever there is some chance of drought, they will just by rocket they will send uh, silver iodide and that condensation will take place and they will get rain water. Then in India, in one of the state, Indian state Karnataka, it was in uh, 2000, uh, 2002, they started using this uh, cloud seeding technology in one, another state, Maharashtra, that was in 2004, they started using this uh, cloud seeding technology and the biggest use was it was in 2008 and 9 when there was uh, Olympic in China. So China was a little bit afraid that if there is heavy snowfall or heavy storm or rain there uh, this uh, Olympic game ceremony opening ceremony will be disturbed. So before that Chinese they created the platform with the help of silver iodide in the atmosphere so that before ceremony started all those droplets were collected and it came down in the form of heavy rain. So it was 100% guaranteed that within that period of uh, 12 to 24 hours there is no much enough droplets or water vapors present in the atmosphere which can form the cloud. So that is the technique here is used and there is one company in France. Nowadays the, their company's name is Cloud Seeding Technology and they provide guarantee that if suppose you have marriage in open place or in a big hall and snowfall or rain may disturb. So you pay some millions of sterling pound, maybe one, two million and they will come and they will do the cloud seed seeding a procedure they will follow and with that they will collect all the hanging water vapor in the atmosphere and it will be clear and it will be guaranteed that for 24 hours there it is guaranteed that there will not be any storm, any rain or any snowfall. So that company is working even today. They are using this technology and now with artificial intelligence backed by robotics, they are planted in the sea, they are collecting millions of data of global warming, of increasing temperature in Antarctic and with that data, because it is all data, you know, data input they are getting. So that in future, the climate and weather pattern will be controlled by artificial intelligence machine. So, I mean, it may take some four, five years or 10 years. So everything will be controlled. We will, be, we will not be watching uh, the cloud. Whenever we want the rain, uh, we will just uh, command artificial intelligence and cloud formation will be there and what quantity of water you need it should not be flooding there should not be snowfall according to it that much will be uh, seedling will be provided that is uh, silver iodide powder in the form of platform for condensation and you will get the rain so this is how the technology is going to take care and to control the climate So here I have given now some five points, just a summary, the same thing what I have discussed in detail, especially to mention the timing and the name of the scientists who were involved in a cloud seeding technology research. Uh, number one, we humans can control our climate by using cloud seeding technology backed by artificial intelligence and robotic. And number two, Accidental research 
was conducted. I have already told you that was in 1943 using cold box. Uh, cold box by using dry ice that is CO2 and his breath tiny droplets uh, were converted into ice crystals and then he got the idea that we should go for clouds seeing that I have already explained here I am just giving the hint and the name and number 3 on 13th November 1946 the scientist Dr. Winsor Schaefer American and he flew in the in New York uh, and threw uh, some crushed dry ice in atmosphere which resulted in heavy rain and snowfall that was the big test and he was successful then number three I mean number four number four this correction five and uh, six so number four is in the year 1948, Dr. Bernard uh, Van Gogh, he tried his principle of condensation provided platform in the form of silver iodide that I have already discussed. So his name is uh, given here so that you can know that he was the scientist and they are the uh, father of cloud seeding uh, technology. Then number five. In the year 1987 and in the year 2004 uh, in Maharashtra, uh, in Maharashtra state 2004, in 87 and 2004 in two states, Karnataka and Maharashtra, they used cloud seeding uh, technology to get the rain. Then in 2009, China's experiment was very successful and they used the silver iodide sticks and it was fired into by rocket into the atmosphere and all the droplets were condensed and there was heavy rain after and it was clear that no more enough uh, vapors are there in the atmosphere so that uh, there is no chance of any storm is to fall during the opening ceremony of Olympic. Number six. Now, we humans became more and more confident by using artificial link with robotics to control climate in future and already uh, artificial intelligence robotics, they are working in sea on ships near Antarctic where the temperatures are rising and to collect the millions of data on that basis the steps will be taken to control the climate So in the last but not least, it looks like that in future, in coming 10 years, artificial intelligence combined with robotic with different tools is going to control everything including climate, atmosphere and lot of human activities. With this I will stop. Thank you very much for watching the lecture.